name is Akhil Kapoor. I'm a digital marketer and a digital psychologist. And today, definitely, I will definitely focus on the most important part of, and the biggest question that is going to be in today's marketing world is the evolution of the user in the new normal itself and questioning the most fundamental thing itself. What is the soul of a user? Where is this user going? What are the needs of the user itself? What are the desires of the user itself in this new world? And what are the standards and new methods that have been set in the new normal itself? Definitely. The evolution of the internet, rise of the privacy movement, the emergence of the new internet itself, and how we take charge in this environment is the most fundamental question I'm going to address today. And we need to understand specifically about how the internet has evolved. And before that, let's understand who are we. The question being asked by Socrates itself thousand years ago is still valid today. And we need to ask ourselves as advertisers, as users, and also as brands itself, who are we? What are we doing in this world? What is the value that we are providing? And what are we doing basically to create value in each and every person's life itself? That's the most fundamental thing that we need to ask in today's new normal. And how we can do that? Let's understand first of all, through the evolution of the internet itself. The internet has evolved many a times. There was internet documents, internet of commerce, application, and today we see internet of people. And now we, we're heading towards the internet of things itself. Now we will have everything connected to the internet, right? And the internet of people itself gave rise to the most fundamental thing that is internet culture. You have GIFs, you have emojis, you have memes. These are all part of the internet culture itself. And how in this two decades itself, you can see this culture just boomed up and it's become a global culture itself. It's a new phenomenon itself. How today, I'm an Indian sitting in India today in Hyderabad, is able to connect with people across the world. And conference like the Experiment Nation Conference gives us opportunity to connect. But the medium of the internet is the internet which is helping us to all to connect and correlate and, and provide relevant information so that we grow as a species itself. And with the internet culture, you will definitely have organizations who will definitely propagate and help the internet to grow, monetize certain things, right? And those also gave a rise of wall of cartons itself. Google, Facebook, Apple, Samsung, all these are good, a big organizations and there are even more organizations who have created their own wall of gardens where they monetize the way and also set rules. Like, like matter of fact, like Apple. Apple sets rules for its own Apple store. App Store and Samsung has got launched Samsung Ads itself, which helps about 45 million devices in the US and Canada for advertising purposes. That's a huge ecosystem that's going to come on the platform, right? So these are all wall gardens and leveraging their whatever edge that they have in the market. But this changed. This completely changed by one company called Apple. And definitely, I'm not saying this, this, this is just one of the aggregators for the reason it's them, the, the US government, the European Union, other governments across the world initiated the rise and questioned these tech companies and the power in the particular region that they are. And definitely privacy is the game is the most fundamental aspect, not just for the organization's perspective, for the government perspective, for the users itself. What are we doing? What is the data and why is the data being used? And this in this this moment itself of Apple has initiated a ripple effect on Google itself. Now Google is definitely going for a cookie-less future. In 2023, you're going to have a Chrome bomb where all the cook you will not be able to use the cookies itself. In this situation, where the balance of internet has been shifted from past two decades or more than two decades, the users and the publishers are working in a system. They publish the producing content and help the internet grow. Google became a distribution system, a large distribution system because of the publishers providing free content on the platform itself and definitely getting delivering ads to the consumers itself. This helped balance on the internet for past two, more than two decades. And now seeing a future where the publishers are not getting ads and free content, this is going to be a completely different dynamic itself. And let's see how the future moves forward. 
and it's in your foot what was the new things that the internet is emerging in where user driven privacy focus experience centric internet is going to be developed where the publishers will not focus upon the ads or the cookie less cookie based ads basically they're going to develop their own way of monetizing their content and how they should do let's like let's take one example of you know what we had done before during the pandemic itself last year somewhere around in march pandemic came into india we initiated the misinformation movement we took an initiative of eradicating misinformation and navigate users to take the right medical decision that they wanted to in india a country who believes in what's up forwards and a behavior of not fact checking this behavior is a global phenomenon even though the solution that we had taken we connected with the right partners who who part of this journey specifically make create a value in during the decision making journey of the user itself the first partner square the the most important question that we wanted to ask is there's so many questions that have been asked on quora about coronavirus about health related to coronavirus itself how we could answer them and also answer even question more important questions related to the disease it's so that it triggers the right kind of conversation across the platform itself and with the help of the quora team we generated over 4 billion 4 million impressions across the globe and became the most important and popular health brand we got featured or in the quora itself for the q and a experimentation that we have done again as we talking about the experimentation conference experimentation it's center for the innovation and stage to this new change itself right and this the experiment was about text and video ads how we could use video q and a sections and definitely the video q and a sections really helped us to improve the engagement itself and the most important thing testing new products in the testing times question up was such product which was a new product which was coming and which was launched only few markets and in india was one of the few markets that had got so we we thought about address using this product to reach the users initiate the good in the most important medical questions and also answer them and also using health cards updating the health cards what we had before the partnership that we had and improving that health card itself so that we can address the right question and also you navigate the users the right sub question of the particular question that they had for for cancer you can see very clearly cancer itself someone types cancer just want to understand about cancer like in the sub question could be what what is breast cancer prostate cancer skin cancer colon cancer this entire partnership with google really helped the users to take the right decision what was the decision that they need to take about 100 million users were really impacted with this with this health cards and the question up especially during the decision making process again let's come back to the same question once again what are the challenges that we have for the internet right now channel saturation tracking trauma and the brand uniqueness is something that is the most important critical challenges that we have they are also before understanding challenge itself let's understand the most important relationships itself the most important relationship that we have right now is it's because of the industrialization or the industrial revolution that we have gone through right the, before the the first industrial revolution itself right had control of supply you have brands like png mcdonalds and ford who control the supply itself like you create certain units you produce certain units you manufacture certain units you distribute the units you understand the market trend you you forecast you predict what kind of goods could be produced and when could be produced how much could be produced and then meet the demand itself creating a bigger profit margin that is the industrial revolution the first industrial revolution where way the companies had the control over the supply so that they can meet the demand but today because of data and especially specifically big data itself you have companies like amazon doordash and uber who have control over consumption itself they can dictate they can develop they can you know nurture the interest and intent of a user itself with time that's the power of such kind of companies so today you don't need a png you need an amazon today you don't need a mcd you have a doordash today you don't need a ford you have a uber uber doesn't have any cars still it owns the largest largest car network across the planet itself that's the power of the industrial revolution itself right and this shifts 
an important behavior of the user itself from owning a generation of owning things the generation is following of subscribing things we it's subscribing things to uber to amazon prime to doordash for delivery so definitely this change is not just just in the us or in india it's across the planet itself the globe is going completely virtual completely digital and it's going to be one world one cosmic world where everyone wants all the connectivity today uber is available across the planet amazon is available across the planet it's becoming a global marketplace and with this rise of global marketplace one must fundamental question for all publishers for the, all the brands who develop content content marketing initiatives have been taken please don't build a wall <laughs> don't please build a wall build a window the reason i'm telling you to build a wall you'll get to know in the earliest next slides down the line and you can take an initi- you can take an understanding about how, how to build a wall if you want to you can definitely go to ozone project you will get to know about it specifically about how to build a wall but yeah it's today about building a window and why why we do want to build a pin to actually if you see channel saturation is costing higher loss advertising spends are increasing the returns are becoming less and also the right channels we need to choose and also the channel itself saturating itself google ads facebook ads apps become doubly of the internet itself social media is not getting that much leaving the facebook part and seo definitely it's decreasing the trend is decreasing unless and until voice search comes in and long thing keywords have been used for voice search that's something that we can look into and then we can increase our seo traffic itself and you have others which is other other paid media channels and the most important channel that we all are missing is the personalization and the conversion rate optimization channel itself you can see 20% of the marketers see an increase in sales because the personalization experience that they have how do you create personal experience for each user for or the cohort that we're looking to 80% of the shoppers are more likely to buy from companies that offer personalized experience 77% of the consumers have chosen or recommended brands that have provided personalized service to them that's how personalization is going and personalization is the ultimate channel that we can increase our sales or revenue and conversion optimization is the most important channel that we can focus on so that we improve our channel spends and get a, get the best out of the each channel itself so to understand this more clearly let's take a case study of ask apollo i was earlier working for a company called apollo hospitals and definitely not to build a wall let's build a window and how we can drive optimization and lead the experimentation the culture itself forward so apollo hospitals is the largest private hospital network in asia and the biggest hospital in india ask apollo was the window for apollo's network in india and a holistic goal of digitizing the journey of the patient itself when a patient comes to the hospital from from the thought of discovery of what is happening to him to the idea of a booking an appointment in a hospital to coming in the hospital and visiting the doctor this entire journey could be digitized with the app and then what was the, what was the holistic goal of the application or the web application basically itself the fundamental idea was not for listings the fundamental idea was to monetize or optimize time itself there were a lot of listing businesses going in india you have olx you have quicker you have fracto you have a lot of listing business going in across the across the indian market itself or the internet landscape itself how we create separate differentiation for ourselves in the market itself by clearly thinking about two things first we're not building a wall we are building a window window the into apollo's hospital network number 1 number 2 the optimizing the most essential resource for both for the doctors itself for the business itself and the most important for the user itself which is time time is the most important non renewable resource for any organization and we understood by using data and optimizing the process itself we can create business efficiency which could be profitable for both for the business itself and also for the user to save time and to meet the right doctor at the right place that was the most important thing what happened then we led to one experiment the most fundamental experiment of time as we had listings right so in listings you have you, you choose a doctor you book an appointment you book a hospital what if a user comes and tells you was i have a particular disease but i don't know what's happening to me 
and it's true a lot of people a lot of users about according to a research itself about 67 percent of the users are not aware but what are they going through specifically it comes to healthcare in this situation we put a request form a small lead form a small experiment with people put a lead or not you have to understand that and yes it did it worked and we got 25 percent increase in leads because of the initiative and let's take experiment two let's understand this one landing page which has about eight fields second landing page they have about four fields so the second landing page is basically has lesser fields or twice lesser fields than the first one right and the goal is to increase appointments hypothesis is leveraging intent of the users for appointment increase in walk-ins result increase the conversion rate by 18 percent what do you think which landing page has increased the conversion rate guesses guesses any guesses the first one surprising right sometimes the most easier route seems to be not the profitable route or most high conversion route itself the first one the reason is two reasons number one it captures the intent of the user itself number two post this there's a ivr call which goes about call which goes which reduces the time of the user to interact with the human this is a reminder call that goes but the second landing page is a proper human who tries to understand the customer's needs and then afterwards books an appointment in a particular hospital right so all these culturally all these experiments gives an understanding about not to build a wall build a window try to build a window especially large organizations build a window so that you can whatever resources that you already have you can really build on the resources and de develop a product which could be really helpful especially in the times when the chrome mom is going to come in 2023 number one number two drive innovation you can only drive innovation when you can drive experiments and experiments is the base foundation or stages for innovation itself the most important thing and optimization optimization is a new channel itself which can drive you more you more roi or ROS, whatever method that you're taking for right for the business and the most fundamental thing i just wanted to say before i leave if data is a new oil then digital is the vehicle which will transform the world itself we're living in a world where digitization of businesses is happening across the world and this new oil this data will definitely help not just digital marketers but all the digital business owners to drive the change that they want for the customers itself before i leave taking the legacy forward the experimentation forward yes to the crazy ones and especially the one who was the most craziest one on the planet who lived and we need to take the legacy forward of the experimentations we're the rebellions we are the experimenters we are the innovators we are the geniuses of tomorrow if we don't take the experiment christian culture across the planet to the each individual business itself and each business business function not just to marketing or digital marketing to finance to every business function itself we will not stage the new innovation we will not be able to set stage new disruption in the industry we will not be able to stage new industries itself for the future itself it depends upon us how we take the future forward will we our, our generation be the ones who take the pattern of the experimentation forward or the first question itself who are we going to be thank you